Welcome back, everyone. It has been a little bit of time, hasn't it? Um, it's really been some feast or famine lately when it comes to the TTMs. Um, that's, I guess, just kind of what's happening right about now. But also, um, I know I have not been the greatest recently, giving you guys full disclosure. I have not been the best lately in keeping up with uh, the videos and the comments. You know, I always talk about how, you know, if you comment, I'll comment back on it. Um, I know that there's probably, gosh, three or four videos worth of comments that I have not been able to touch yet. And just uh, giving you guys insight, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just like way, way, way busy right now. Um, I w still want to make sure I'm doing videos when I'm getting my TTMs, but... Um, just uh, please, no one, I don't want anybody taking any offense if you haven't gotten a comment back from me, especially if you've asked a question, um, just full disclosure, which I haven't even really been able to look at the comments much, um, but I promise to you uh, this week, I will make sure that I get the comments um, all replied to, um, looking at everybody's comments there. Um, so that's on me. Um, I do appreciate, uh, of course, uh, anybody that comments on the videos. I always encourage it. I like uh, I like getting the feedback from everyone. Um, so uh, just wanted to kind of let everyone kind of know um, everything is good. Um, and as you can see, we're going to have some fun today. Must be Monday because we got some TTMs here. Um, again, full disclosure, I did get one that came back um, going into the weekend on Saturday, but I did not want to do a single video, especially since it wasn't something that I knew was coming, so I don't even know what it was. Um, I don't even remember which one it was. I think it was maybe one of these coming out of LA, um, but I honestly... I can't remember right now. Um, a couple things I'm going to show you here is uh, we've got two. We got one that came out of Canada, but also one here in the U.S. And as you can see, there's a chunk that's been taken out there, but uh, everything seems to be intact. You can kind of see some cards in there. And then also we got another one here where we've got a tear there, but I did kind of sneak a little peek and saw um, what that was, and it feels like my cards are still in there. So I'm going to save this one for last because this one seems to be pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and get to the other four here. We're going to start with our um, our uh, quality control from the Postal Service here um, and see what we get. So, you know, the nice thing with this is it makes it really easy. I can just kind of put my finger right in there. And Ben, if you're watching, I know I still do need to get a letter opener. Um, that'll happen at some point here. All right. Cool way to start this off. So I got to give props to my buddy Dennis. Um, he actually told me to, uh, or he, he let me know that he had gotten this guy back in the mail. And I went ahead and sent out Brett K. Brett K was a one-time Mets prospect. And I had basically his almost his entire career here. Um, there is one card of his that I did not have, and that was um, basically just the Topps Chrome version of his rookie there. Um, this one was out for, gosh, probably three months maybe or so. Um, and it was, uh, I'm not going to say it was a shot in the dark um, because there was a success with it, but not quite sure exactly um, the address, if it was a work or a home address, but um, it worked. And I uh, got a nice 606 return back. So um, another 03 St. Lucie, which that's a set that also has David Wright and the uh, the infamous Angel Pagan, which if you remember from our video a couple of weeks ago, Angel Pagan took the St. Lucie card that I sent to him, even though I told him I specifically wanted that card signed. I'm not bitter. It's all good. Uh, but also got the Brooklyn and St. Lucie set cards done. And then the uh, Topps Heritage, Bowman, and Topps, I believe this was a Topps Traded. Yeah, Topps Traded um, rookie. So awesome 6-6 six to six return there for Mr. Brett K. And uh, pretty much got his whole career encapsulated right there. So good start. Anytime you can start with a, uh, a Met, that's always a good time. All right, next let's go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, and let's see what we're getting here. All right, cool. So kind of uh, keeping up with a little bit of a New York theme here, at least with one. Um, 
Tony Granato, a former NHLer, Tony Granato. And as you can see where I talk about the uh, Ranger New York theme there, um, got uh, Tony's Opeachy card there. He uh, spent most of his career not with the Rangers, but um, certainly I wanted to make sure I got that card signed for sure. And then um, in honor of the World Juniors and, you know, the country uh, country love there, had to get uh, the Canada Cup card signed and then the first year score and then a 92-93 um, upper deck there. So these weren't out for all that long. I would say probably a little over a month. Um, so a great 4-4 return, black sharpie, just a nice clean autograph with it. So, all right, we are two for two so far on the day. Okay, so I know that the return from Canada is uh, going to be a hockey return because that's all I got out there right now. So we're going to do that one uh, next to last. So let's go out to California and see what we're getting here. This could be pretty much any sport. All right, so uh, it's going to be a hockey kind of day here. So got a nice return back from Hockey Hall of Famer Rob Blake. Um, Rob Blake is fantastic, um, signing through the mail. Um, he's also a great in-person signer. I I've been fortunate. I've seen him several times at the Hall of Fame over the years. And, you know, if you're around him, he's uh, he's always very, very accommodating with the fans. Um I've actually got it. Still, of all things, I still got to get him on a Hall of Fame puck. Go figure that. Um, <laughs> but he's always good with the fans uh, through the mail and in person. So um, a great return there. Got his upper deck rookie and his uh, score rookie sign. Um, his 0506 Parkhurst. And then uh, a 91-92 uh, upper deck as well. So keeping with the hockey theme. And look, even keeping with, the, we, we've got connection there. L.A. Kings to L.A. Kings. They actually were teammates. So, keeping up with a hockey theme there. So, uh, one baseball return and two hockey returns. And I think it's safe to say that if this is a success, this will be our third hockey return of the day. So, let's see here. I've got, I think I know who this one might be, and I'm hoping. Okay, not who I was thinking it was, but this is actually even better. Hockey goaltender, legend, Richard Brodeur. He, what's interesting is with King Richard Brodeur, is he, for a long time, was a very tough autograph. He didn't really do much in the way of wanting to sign or uh, really wanting to do anything. And then all of a sudden, he just, I guess, flipped the switch and said, what the heck? And um, he's been a, a solid signer. Um, I sent to him maybe, I don't know, two years ago or so, got him on a couple of cards. The Greats of the Game set that um, I actively am working on, um, got him in that. And uh, in this case here, you can see it's all between the pipes cards here. So um, kind of went through and found some, some cool ones here and uh, got those sent out. And uh, this was out less than two months. So... Um, a really good return there and, uh, you know, keeping on with the hockey uh, old school that I've been uh, kind of on that kick of lately. And I'm going to hopefully be getting a lot more cool old school hockey coming in here in the coming weeks. All right. So on to our last TTM for the day. So this one also comes to us out of Los Angeles. Um, I saw kind of what this was just by peeking a little bit plus also <laughs> that whole that whole thing was kind of torn open, so it's kind of hard to not see what that is. So we're going to just finish opening that up there. And what we got here is we've got some cool Henry Winkler cards. Um, he has been signing up a storm for people. Um, and... I didn't have anything on him, believe it or not. I, I know he's got, like, the Happy Days cards. I just haven't been able to find some shy of picking them up on eBay. Um, but I was going through an old random box of non-sport cards, and I actually came across this. Look at the hair that he had on this. I mean, that's like... That's like a full mop of hair there. Um, and this was... Set, I think it was released in the early 90s. Let me see here. And, of course, like, the camera doesn't want to focus. Yeah, 1991. So, yeah. Um, 
but a cool card and, and it kind of went across the spectrum with this um but i happened to find that so um a nice autograph there and then shortly thereafter i was um, kind of sorting through and uh, he's got this donruss americana parallel card and you can see it's actually a numbered card there out of 500 um but got that signed and he does send out um with most returns a um a nice little five by seven glossy so um here's henry winkler as the fawns oh and cool um it says hi it makes me feel wonderful that you like what i do with my life thank you enjoy yourself and be good to yourself knock your socks off love henry winkler and this looks like it's live ink on there i it's kind of hard to tell but um just kind of looking at the way this is going yeah this does look like it's live ink so he's really enjoying i guess um doing the signing and what's cool is you get the happy 2021 so it's kind of dated like i had seen where he was doing dating on a lot of this um, and then he dated this one as well with the January 2021. Um, this card here he did not date. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool, though. Um, and that was one I had sent it out, and he was pretty much kind of an automatic from what I had been seeing. And I, uh, it had been about two months or so. And, um, you know, I'd chalk it up to the holidays and COVID and um, just the mail service. So... I was like, all right, I'll get it back eventually. And I kind of had forgotten about it, but um, now it came back in. So that's a really cool return there. So for the day, we ended up um, with a nice five out of five with our returns. Um, the coolest one to me being getting Henry Winkler back, who signed uh, three of two. I only sent him two cards and he tossed in the, um, the, uh, the five by seven. Um, we also got a 4-4 return out of Richard Broder. Oop, as I try to knock over the camera there. We got a nice 4-4 return from Hall of Famer Rob Blake. We got a 4-4 return from NHL great Tony Granato. Also, by the way, for those of you that kind of know hockey, but know hockey, but don't know hockey, I, I guess I'll say, um, Cami Granato, if you know that name, um, that's actually his sister. Um, and Cami Granato, she was also, you know, if you collected cards in the 90s, she was in some of those draft pick sets for classic, the four sports sets. Um, she had some cards in that as well. Um, but yeah, that's his, uh, his sister. And then rounding things out for the day, um, we had a 606 return from former Mets prospect Brett K. So, not too bad of a return to start off a Monday here. Oh, and by the way, it was Tony Granato that had come in uh, back on Saturday that we didn't open. So, um, five out of five for our returns between Saturday and today. Uh, so, we got four there, six there, so that's 10, 13. Plus eight, so 21 autographs to add to the collection today. So not a bad start to the week. Um, as everybody knows, the mail service is still pretty darn wonky right now. So um, don't know what we're looking at in terms of frequency for our videos going forward. Um, if I get stuff, I'll be sure to post some videos about it. Um, but hopefully, you know, we'll be back online here in uh, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it'd be great if we could be back online tomorrow because that means we get some more returns that came in but you know we'll just kind of have to see where everything goes but until then um as always i really do appreciate everybody uh taking some time watching the video and hope you enjoyed yourself um please make sure um especially with some of the craziness that's going on in the world these days please stay safe um out there and uh still make sure to have fun where you can um, there's too much in this life that to take serious that you got to make sure you have fun every once in a while and uh, kind of just get yourself reset and um, hopefully you know for those of you that do the TTMs and uh, do the autographing hope your mailboxes are staying full of ink so until next time uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see ya